It looks like a good day out there in San Francisco. Oakland Tower, northwestbound transition, north of the 880 freeway, smooth the Oakland altimeter 3009. Today we're flying over San Francisco and the Bay Area. Soaring over the west coast and capturing magical views of the Golden Gate Bridge is a feeling hard to describe. Stick around and watch this video to see San Francisco from a fresh perspective. Just a disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes and not instruction. Radio calls and clips have been edited out to keep this video at a reasonable length. This is on low pressure. We got low pressure right there. Cold front's coming in. San Francisco next. Winds are 2308 knots, 10 statute miles. Scattered 4100, broken 5500, so we know where that ceiling is. Electrical system looking good. ATIS, AWAS obtained. Wind 160 at Niner. Visibility 10, altimeter 300 Niner. We're in Hayward Tower, COM 1, and we're at 120.2. Hayward Tower, pulling short of 10 left. Like to take off 10 right, Oakland Northfield transition. Hayward Tower, cross only 10 left at Foxtrot, hold short only 10 right. Cross 10 left at Foxtrot, hold short of 10 right. It makes a left crosswind departure, runway 10 right to take off. Left crosswind departure, 10 right, clear for takeoff. Final's clear. Nobody's on base, nobody's on downwind. Right crosswind takeoff, final is still clear, lights are on. Time lights, camera, action. Configure. Cessna 428 Alpha, traffic departing prior to your arrival is a Cessna. Runway 10 right, there's the option. On the go, make right close traffic. Okay. We've got the Airspeed is alive. Pass in 45 knots. 50 rotate. We're going to rotate like a short field takeoff. Turn it into the wind to maximize performance. Above under feet, positive ray, we go flaps up. We look for VY of 74 knots. We're clear for left crosswind departure until we get Oakland handoff. Left crosswind turn. Remain clear fast, Charlie until advised, contact Oakland Tower. Oakland Tower, northwestbound transition, north of the 880 freeway, smooth the Oakland altimeter 3009. Alright, it looks like a good day out there in San Francisco. I'm level off now, slowly bring the nose down. Yeah. That's Oakland International. Oakland International is a class Charlie airport. They have great GA support and most of all, a gateway to Europe and a lot of domestic US destinations without the drama of San Francisco's busy, long security lines. In front of us is the Oakland Coliseum, home to the Oakland A's and previously the Warriors and Oakland Raiders. 10 miles north of Hayward Airport, we fly a beam Alameda Island, where they filmed the Mythbusters TV show and home to the U.S. Coast Guard Station and the USS Hornet. We approach Oakland downtown from the south. Oakland is the anchor of the East Bay and home to half a million people and many good restaurants and cuisines. The major urban area is an up-and-coming neighborhood with cozy areas fetching over $5 million for a house in the Piedmont Hills area. If you're in Oakland, be sure to explore Lake Merritt, as well as the historic Chinatown with a lot of great bakeries and restaurants. In our flyby, we can easily see Kaiser Permanente's headquarters and Pandora's HQ. In this right-hand orbit, we get a closer view of Lake Merritt and the adjacent neighborhood, as well as Interstate 580 heading north and south, just walking distance from downtown Oakland. From this angle on an airplane, you can begin to appreciate the density of the East Bay communities. It's concrete jungle nested with freeways, not many trees to see until you hit the foothills. Headed north to Berkeley, we see a police helicopter pass a thousand feet below us. The city of Berkeley and Berkeley campus itself with the Campanile and Berkeley Arena tucked under the foothills. Following Interstate 80 North, we arrive at the city of Richmond and the Richmond refineries off the side of our right wingtip. Chevron paints the refinery tanks the same color as California's dry grass, half-heartedly trying to blend in with the landscape. Home to the Rosie the Riveter Museum. 
Richmond's Kaiser Shipyard under our wings built over 700 ships to support World War II. We fly over the 580 Richmond Bridge into Marin County towards the town of San Anselmo and St. Quentin Prison. Marin County is really green. There's not much here in terms of city. We turn south towards the town of Sausalito and Tiburon, passing over Angel Island and Raccoon Strait. Great sailing day. There's a little fleet of. Oh yeah, there's a. Oh hell yeah, good point out, man. I'm gonna get that on camp. There's more down below the right wheel. The other expensive hobby. Yes. Awesome footage. Angel Island, also known as the Ellis Island of the West Coast, served as a checkpoint for immigrants arriving by sea across the Pacific. Today, it's preserved as a beautiful state park, a great weekend getaway, accessible by a 10-minute ferry ride from Tiburon. Separating Angel Island from the mainland is Raccoon Strait. Raccoon Strait is famous for tough boating with swift currents. When sea levels were lower back in the last ice age, the Sacramento River flowed right through this channel into the Pacific Ocean. Let's head into San Francisco. Look at the beautiful financial center on the left side and the Golden Gate Bridge to our right. The Golden Gate Bridge, called possibly the most beautiful bridge in the world and the most photographed piece of architecture, was opened in 1937 and still serves as a main artery into San Francisco today. Before heading back to San Francisco and the Golden Gate, we take this opportunity to circle over the Marin headlands and see the beautiful Pacific coastline. On the left, you can see Rodeo Beach and the low-lying fog hugging the coastal range. Vincent's Beach is up ahead. Vincent's. Yep. This is shark water. Oh yeah, you don't want to get caught over here in the water. Be featured on Jaws. A fisherman has a huge surprise. He hooked a great white shark. On another note, look to our left-hand side, the Golden Gate Bridge, over a mile long and 750 feet tall. The Golden Gate Bridge is just 100 foot shorter than the Transamerica Pyramid, dominating the San Francisco skyline. That museum is called the Legion of Honors. Look left, it's Palace of Fine Arts. Oh yeah, there it is. Yep. Oh, this is a cool angle of it too. No flyby of San Francisco is complete without a view of Alcatraz Prison. We complete our orbit over San Francisco before heading south back to home base. In this view you see Dog Patch, Warriors Home Stadium, the Chase Center, Japantown, South San Francisco, and Golden Gate Park before we fly a beam the Golden Gate Bridge again. It's also really nice that you guys have so many landmarks. It makes uh, VFR navigation much oh, yeah. easier. Like uh, even the area surrounding Austin, once you leave Austin, you can uh, navigate just by looking out the window, but it takes a lot of planning because a lot of the landmarks aren't that distinct. Last but not least, Golden Gate Park, even larger than New York's Central Park, and just as beautiful. We leave San Francisco and fly to a gem of the peninsula, San Carlos Airport, home to Hiller Aviation Museum. Pass north of the Bay Bridge and then uh, cross the Oakland Coliseum 2500 for the transition. Enjoy some different scenery in the central part of the San Francisco Bay, where it becomes a tidal estuary and one of the largest wetlands in the United States.
Radio service terminated, keep squawk code contact San Carlos Tower, good day. San Carlos Tower, Scott, 1,400, mid-span, information, Bravo, full stop. Only one, two, clear to land, wind, uh, two, zero, zero at Niner. While the waters under the Golden Gate is over 370 feet deep, the central bay is shallow, averaging 12 to 15 feet in depth. Zero cockpit, number one, clear to land. Runway's made. If you're here in San Carlos, be sure to visit the Hiller Aviation Museum. They have an amazing collection, but my favorite is the Boeing 747. It has an intact cockpit and an upper deck lounge where the first class cabin used to be. Hope you enjoyed these high definition views of San Francisco from the cockpit today. Flying with friends and creating shared experiences like this is why I fell in love with aviation. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more aviation related content. It's also why we must keep our local airports like Reed Hill View and Santa Monica open so we can share this with others and strengthen our sense of community as aviators. If you're curious about flying, find your local flight school and schedule a demo flight. I promise it'll be worth it.